In this video, we're going to consider a man rowing downstream for 30 miles. He turns around and returns to his original location. Total trip takes 8 hours, and if the current flows 2 miles per hour, we want to know how fast is this man going to row in still water. Well, when we see rates and times and distances, we should think about the equation that rate times time equals a distance. Let's see if we can organize our information in a table, one row for downstream and one row for upstream. First, going downstream, when you're going downstream, you have the addition of the water pushing you. So we're going to add to his rate those 2 miles per hour that the current is flowing, making him go faster. When he goes the other way, those 2 miles an hour are going to push against him, slowing him down 2 miles an hour. So we'll subtract 2. For the time, we're told the total trip takes 8 hours. That's not the individuals, but the total if we were to add them together. We don't know how much time he spent going downstream, but if you use up t out of the 8, what's left is when we subtract 8 minus t to go downstream. We also know the distance they travel, both directions, 30 down and 30 up, and we end up with our equations that we can use to answer this problem r plus 2 times t equals 30, and r minus 2 times 8 minus t equals 30. We can solve this simultaneous product, then, by dividing both by the same factor. We want to know how fast he's going. We want the rate, so we're going to divide by the factor that has r in it. That'd be r plus 2 in the first equation, giving us t equals 30 over r plus 2 and r minus 2 in the second equation, giving us 8 minus t equals 30 over r minus 2. And that sets us up to make a nice substitution, replacing the t with 30 over r plus 2. Gives us 8 minus 30 over r plus 2 equals 30 over r minus 2. And we now have an equation we can solve, by identifying the least common denominator of r plus 2, r minus 2. And so we'll multiply by r plus 2, r minus 2, r plus 2, r minus 2, r plus 2, r minus 2. And when we reduce, there's not much reducing from the first term, so we have 8 times. Let's go ahead and multiply out r plus 2 times r minus 2. That's a sum and a difference, so we have r squared minus 4 using our shortcut. The r plus 2's divide out, we get minus 30 times r minus 2 equals the r minus 2's divide out 30 times r plus 2. Let's scroll a bit to get a little more space to work as we distribute through the parentheses. 8r squared minus 32 minus 30r plus 60 equals 30r plus 60. We like the equation to equal 0, so we'll subtract 30r from both sides, and subtract 60, which is nice, because the 60's completely subtract out. And that gives us 8r squared, putting things in order, minus 60r minus 32 equals 0. From here, we can solve by either using the quadratic formula, completing the square, this one factors nicely. If we factor out a 4 first, we get 2r squared minus 15r minus 16 equals 0. And then what's left factors nicely with a little bit of work to 2r plus 1, or r minus 8. Again, if you couldn't find that, complete the square, use the quadratic formula, use a different method, and that'll work just fine. And then we set each factor equal to 0. 2r plus 1 equals 0. I'm moving up here, because I'm out of space. Whoops. 2r plus 1 equals 0, and r minus 8 equals 0. Subtract 1, 2r equals negative 1, divide by 2, r equals negative 1 half. Or, more interesting is when we add 8, because this is going to give us a positive answer, r is equal to 8. He can't row a negative speed, so the solution must be he rows 8 miles an hour in still water.